Okay, so this is Ron again. In my first video, I was explaining a couple of the problems that I've had with this Ryobi 40 volt <clears throat> brushless mower that we bought in 2022. And I wanted to go back and put a couple of other things in here. First of all, in order to be able to get to all of the stuff that I showed you in the other video, You've got a few things that you're going to have to do, and you know, you learn from school the hard knocks, but this is the way it is. This piece right here, okay, it's on the front of the mower. It's called a bump guard or whatever you want to call it, but it's got quite a few little clips that are push ins. There's one here, there, there, there that one I broke there and there they all clip into parts on here on the front and then after you get that off you can go up underneath the mower but make sure you've got the battery disconnected and the key out of it before you do and you can get to all these from underneath and sort of prime and pop them out the only one you couldn't get to is this one and that one will come out fairly easy on its own then you've got a clip here on this side it's right behind where this thing goes in and the same over here on this side okay then you got to go inside here inside the case and you've got a t30 there there and there their torx bit 30 okay you can't pry this up any farther until you get it off but then you pull the <clears throat> after you've got the key out of it once you get it those out you can pick up the front and slide these two off of this bar and just push down on them as you're picking up the front and get them off of that bar okay then you can pick the whole thing up and twist it on its side and underneath this key here there's two t20s that hold this this plug in place for the key and down here at the bottom there's a clip it's up underneath here you can get to it once you pull this part off and you push out on that clip and this thing will come forward and out of these slots okay and then there's a Phillips head screw that holds that retainer in place for the three wires you pull the three wires off and you can pull them through and get that off too and then that way you've got this whole gray case off now another thing that I wanted to tell you is that everything that i did on this thing you know it it's something that not everybody wants to mess with if you haven't messed with electricity and you don't understand electricity then you don't understand the dangers of even 40 volts dc like this battery there's quite a bit of stuff there that can get you so i used this meter that i bought off of amazon and there's a volt setting here and then you come down here and you hit this zf button and it'll change it from ac to dc and that way you can check the volts there's also an ohm meter setting here which tests resistance so when you turn it to the ohm meter setting it'll come up here with ol and when you touch these two prongs here together it should read 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, somewhere in there. And then that way you know that that's, that there would be a dead short. If you are touching it to two different ends of a wire or like I did on that um, motor thing and it goes to 0 from 0 from OL, then you know there's a short there. You know it's a direct connection and you don't want that when when you're looking at this thing okay but volt wise i was checking uh that you see you notice that says dc volt wise i was checking to see the voltage across the positive and negative going to each part of the the rear controller and the controller that went into the dc you know the mower motor and it was the controller that went into the mower motor that was causing all of the amperage and all the volts on everything else to go haywire 
Once I cut that, everything else read 39 point something. Until I cut it, everything past the battery was reading weird. It was like zero, 0 0.5, it was like a dead short. So that was the reason why, and, and that was the first thing I started doing was just checking all that stuff to make sure that I had 39 volts or 40 volts to everything on the thing, and I didn't. That was why I went directly to the mower blade controller, and when I cut those two wires, everything else read right. So things to think about, um, tools you need, I had a, uh, these two, one is a T20 and one's a T30. Uh, a blade screwdriver, uh, not a whole lot when it comes to that. A, a, a medium sized Phillips screwdriver. And, you know, just the ability to set and look at stuff and, and figure out how it comes apart um, is the main thing. But I hope that this helps. And I do want you to understand that, you know, I've been working on all the bills and electrical stuff for years so for me this was something that i could do some people you might not want to fool with it thanks again and i hope this helps to clarify some of the things on how to get it apart and what to do